What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC Double Battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we got ourselves a banger. We are rocking out with a Guts Luxray team that also features Life Orb Scissor. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. It really just go a long way. So huge shout out to all my subscribers. You guys are the real ones. You guys are definitely the real ones. But like I said, today we are rocking out with a Gen 4 favorite. Got ourselves Luxray right here. Everybody loves him. Such a cool Pokemon and very, very good on the physical attack attacking side with this Guts and Flame Orb as its item. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Like I said, Flame Orb as its item, rocking out with Guts. So every time we get a status condition, our attack stat is going to be boosted. And then we got a great move set of Wild Charge for Stab. Protect, you know, just to protect our Luxray. Full switch to pivot out. And then we got Facade because you can't have a Flame Orb Pokemon without Facade. Facade is just a great coverage move. It's double damage with status conditions. It's big damage. Cannot go wrong with it. Second Pokemon on the squad is Arcanine over here, and not just any Arcanine, my favorite Arcanine build. If you guys have been watching my BDSP content, you guys know this is my favorite Arcanine build. We got Flamethrower, we got Snarl, Will-O-Wisp, and Protect, alongside with the Intimidate ability, and the Aqua Berry, so we get more HP when we fall below. I think it's like one-fourth? Something around there. Something around there, but yeah, I absolutely love this moveset. Really good at controlling the battle. You got the Intimidate when you hop into battle to drop physical attack by one stage. You got the Snarl to drop special attack, and then you got will to burn physical attackers. You can really control the attacking field, make your opponent basically do no damage. Really, really good. I love it so much. Third Pokemon on the squad is going to be our Speed Control and a great physical attacker as well. We got ourselves Crobat right here with Tailwind, Taunt, Frost Poison, and Brave Bird for two stab moves and two support moves. Its uh, ability is going to be inner focus, so it actually can't be faking out. And then last but not least, the item that we're holding is the Figgy Berry. It's basically like the Guap Berry, but it works for this Pokemon due to its uh, stats. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is our heavy hitting physical attacker. That is going to be my boy over here, Scissor. Everybody knows Scissor's top tier in BDSP. Cannot go wrong with him on any single team. We got the Life Orb as its item, rocking out with obviously Technician as its ability, and then fairly normal moveset with X Scissor, Swords Dance, Bullet Punch, and Protect. Fifth Pokemon on the squad is another Pokemon that is just so good in BDSP. That is going to be Togekiss over here. This Togekiss is a normal build. It's a great special attacker, great support Pokemon as well with the following Protect. We got Air Slash, Dazzle, and Gleam, both for stab moves. And then item and ability is going to be Super Luck with that scope button, so we're pretty much critting most of the time. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be our heavy special attacker. We have a big physical attacker with Scizor. Now we got a big special attacker with Rotom Wash. We gave the Citrus Berry as its item, so when it falls below half, you know, we get that HP back. We're rocking the Levitate ability, obviously, and then great move set of Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump, Nasty Pot to set up, and protect for our fourth and final move. But there it is, yo. There's the team. Luxray Guts team. Let's hop into that Coliseum. Let's look to grab some wins for you guys. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. I guess. Look what we're going up against. 6v6 our opponent chose, and he has Dark Ride, Palkia, Garchomp, Garatina, Lugia, and Rayquaza. I don't like this one bit. I do not like this one bit, but Togekiss does do some work here. Togekiss can get some work done, so I actually might lead it, and I'm going to go for the victory here for you guys. Um, should I go Arcanine? I could go Arcanine and Togekiss, which could be pretty solid. It could be pretty solid. The only Pokemon that matter is going to be my lead, because we have to bring all of them. But, dude, this is whack. This is why I always want to pick rules. This is why I always want to pick rules, but you guys know I like to go up against legendaries. I don't mind it because, you know, there's a chance I can win and just, like, rub it in our opponent's face. But let's let's see how we do this one. Um, Tokus is going to be really good. I really do like Tokus, but I don't know if I should lead Tokus. I could take Tailwind Speed could be really good for us. So you know what? I'm going to go with these two and just bring the rest. I just, think, I just think Arcanine could be great as a lead. Just start getting those special attack drops, those physical attack drops, just all around. Most of these guys are going to be special attacking, but we're going to get it. We are going to get everybody. I really want this win. Let's see if we can get ourselves started off on a strong note. He goes Rayquaza and he goes Dark Rive. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. We're going to bring out my lovely little bat that is full of crows. And we're going to bring out my lovely little Arcanine. So uh, from here, I guess I just Tailwind straight up, right? Tailwind, get some speed. Get some speed cooking. Drop a little Snarl action as well. Dude, these Pokemon are just so scary. What is this game? What is this game? But yeah, we're definitely going to Tailwind here. Take that speed. I'm just going to Snarl up. Getting after it. Getting after it. That's one plays out. And Crobat just outspeeds everybody. We'd love to see it. So that means Arcanine is now fast on the field. Beautiful. We're going to use a Snarl. Who dodges it? Who dodges my Snarl? Who dodges my Snarl? God dang. What's it called, does? Dark Ride. And wait a minute. He has, he has levels on this? I love all my Pokemon. He's 100. Cool. And of course, I get frozen. What is this game? And goes for Hypnosis, Arcanine dodges. Okay, cool. 
So I'm gonna see this. Uh, how's this is how's this plan? Okay, so we have only one Pokemon that's love, not level 100. I might come back to bite us, but since he has a level 53, that's really good for us. That is really good for us. But from here, you know what? I'm just gonna cross poison. I'm gonna try to chip up some damage here. Actually, I'm gonna double down into uh. I'm gonna double down into Dark Red. Because Dark Red's level 53 and he's trying to put me to sleep. So you know what? I'm gonna double straight down into this Pokemon. So I'm not dealing with it. Where's my Crobat? It's frozen solid. Look at this thing. What is this game? Arcanine's gonna go next. Can we KO with this? I mean, he's only level 53. Get him out of here. That's what you get. That's what you get. That's what you get. That's what you get. So there we go. Dark Red goes out for the count. This thing's probably dropping another Ice Beam. Yeah. He drops another Ice Beam. I'm fine with that. My boy Crobat eats. And hopefully we can at least get off one more turn next turn. Probably we can. We got the Figgy Berry out here. Figgy Berry bringing us from 69 to 176 HP. Love you, Figgy Berry. I love you. Good old Figgy. Good old Figgy Berry. But we still have our Arcanine chilling in the town, which is really, really good because it's going to be able to outspeed. We can burn physical attackers like that. We can go from there. But yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to go for the Cross Poison over into you. And then on top of this, I'm going for this one. Straight up into this physical attack. We got to get rid of this, dude. We got to get rid of this. Crobat's frozen again. Come on, man. What you mean? Come on, Crobat. But I feel like we're just going to have to use Rotom as like a body bag. Just have him soak up a shot, you know? Let him go down. He's level 58. Good thing he did have that Dark Rye. Stone is going to come through here. That's easy eats for my boy. Look at that. Soaking up all day. We love it. We could swap now. Another Ice Beam's flying. My boy should be able to eat this up. Love you, Crobat. Love you, Crobat. You're just amazing. Burns are chipping. Glad to see that. And uh, what do I do from here? What do I do from here? We have one more turn left to tailwind. I'm going to go here and I might just double down into Rayquaza here. That's going to be my plan. I'm going to double down into Rayquaza. Rayquaza. Maybe try to get a burn with Flamethrower, but I just want to chip up some damage before my Crobat does go out here. We'll see. And then I can just bring out tokens. Yes. Beautiful Pokemon for this. I'm frozen solid again. What is this game? What is this? Why am I frozen so much? At least give me a burn here because I've been frozen so much. Give me a burn. This game. Doo doo. Doo doo. <laughs> Bro, are you kidding me? Frozen again. Arcanine or uh, Archive's gonna go for an EQ. We're able to soak that up and then I think Ice Beam comes across again. Yeah, seems to drop an Ice Beam. Nothing we can do about that. Crobat should be chipping up damage here. Rough turn. That's rough turn. Okay, so from here, I'm thinking we go obviously Toki. Dazzle Beam with that scope one. It's gonna do some big old damage on these guys. And then, uh, what do we do from there? What do we do from there? We could swap though, because I'm thinking of swapping to Arcanine. I'm really thinking of swapping to Arcanine. And we can just use the Rotom swatch. Swap. Thinking he's going for like a Levitate move? Or like an Earthquake? I don't mind that one bit. Get Arcanine a free swap? I'm actually digging out a lot. You know what? We're going to go here. And I'm going to swap in the Rotom here. So like I said, Rotom's just going to be used as like a little body bag here. He's just going to be used as a little body bag. Because like, dude, he's level 58. Once he gets touched, he's going to get outsped. And he's just gonna get he's just gonna get dumped on. So we're just gonna use him for a swap in here. If he goes down, he goes down. It's all good. I'd rather have my Arcanine Intimidate ready to roll again. For the back end, it, it could just work well. Gleam's gonna poke out here. We get off some big old damage. Is that a double crit? Is that a double crit? No crits at all. What you mean? He goes for a stone edge, wow. And what's he going for into my Arcanine slot? Or is he double down with Ice Beam? Hurricane. That's fine. My boy's able to eat. Love it. And I have a citrus berry ready to roll. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a Citrus Berry ready to roll. And my Tokus outspeeds. So this is a gorgeous little token. And you know what? Since Tokus outspeeds, I'm just going to go for a Gleam. And I'm going to try to set up a Nasty Pot with my Rotom. I'm going to try to set up a Nasty Pot with the Rotom. Just to pose the threat. Like, he's not going to do much, but we, we got to do it, right? It's an absolute must. Gleam's going to fly. We're plotting. We don't play games around here. And we're going to take full advantage of the situation. Tokus Gleam's later. Later, Dragon Pokemon. Get him out of here. Get him out of my face. We're going to outplay our opponent. We're going to beat this team of legendaries. There's my crits. There's my crits. We would have got a crit on the last one. We could have dumped on him uh, in one turn, which would have been cool. Which definitely would have been cool. But that's just one guy's flaw. He's like, oh, all these legendaries are awesome. Half of my like, dragon types and my boy Tokus rips into him. <laughs> that's huge. That is definitely huge. All right. We get the nasty plot up. Let's see who he's going to bring out. Probably uh, Lugia is going to come out at this point, right? Dark Rider's already dead. I think Lugia comes out at this point, right? Lugia and Garatina? Garatina and... Where's he gonna throw his last? Palkia? Nope. No Lugia. No Lugalia. Lugalia. Alright, cool. From here, Kaleem's obviously. Like, look at this. 
give me no reason not to get it. I'm gonna double down into this little Palkia. Because Palkia is really bulky. Same thing with Garatina. They're both just a bit on the bulkier side. They're really good. But Gleam's gonna poke, and if we get crits, we can get to do some big damage. Like, look at that. Look at that. Was that a crit? Yeah, double crit, I think. But yo, look at that. Did I do the exact same HP on each of them? I think it's pretty cool. Spatial Rent. What's this dude going for? Spatial Rent. Rent 4. Onto my Togekiss. What is he doing? Okay, now we deserve this. Now, 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 now I want to apologize to this guy for bringing legendaries. But he's definitely like he's definitely like a newbie. He's definitely a new guy. He's just like, hey, yo, I'm trying to hop into the hop into the Coliseum, play some battles with the strongest with my strongest Pokemon. So shout out to this guy. Shout out to this guy for sure. Shout out to this guy. He's definitely a newbie. He's definitely a newbie. So I apologize for all the mean stuff I said before. <laughs> if I was roasting this dude for like, uh, what's going? Oh, are you kidding me? He dodges the attack. Oh no, what's called this? Garatina. I thought Palkia did. But I apologize for all the stuff I said before about him bringing legendaries. That one's on me, guys. That one's on Jeans. I'll take full responsibility for that one. He's gonna go for the Shadow Force. I'm gonna say, uh, and that does a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Thunderbolts can come through here. That should take him out here. No, it does not. Forget we're level 53. We're level 53. We are nasty potted up, but still, no damage. No damage. Okay, Lugia's gonna come out here. And at this point, dude, dude Gleam's just ripping. <laughs> Gleam is just ripping today. Gleam is just ripping. Tokus definitely MVP. Definitely MVP. Gleam's flying. Yeah. Bang. And then uh, this look is bulky. Real bulky. Real, real bulky. Getting crits left and right. I'm hoping he just like takes out Tokus here. I'm gonna get a little bit of luxury action. Luxury school. Calm mines. Ooh, a little calm mind setup. So he's gonna be able to just absolutely soak this one up. A because he's bulky. And B because my Rotom's only level 58. <laughs> he's only level 58. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. And he doesn't. I, I could hard swap the build. My what's it called? My luxury, but I think we're just gonna finish this out, right? Say GG's. You know what? Where should we give this guy the win? Should we give this guy the win? Do we be a nice person? I'm gonna be a nice person. I'm gonna be a nice person. We're gonna give this newbie a nice little victory. GG's to this guy. We had ourselves a nice little fun battle there in battle number one. I'm not even gonna count it towards the record, but we got two more battles for today's video. Let's go back to back. Let's go 2 0 for today's video. We're going up against a pretty cool team right here. He's got himself a Kingdra, Rain, Swift Swim team alongside with Scizor, Gengar, who is super cool, and I still should showcase him in BDSP. Definitely should get a Gengar team going for you guys. And then he has Rotom Heat and Latias for probably speed control. I think I gotta go Crow back here, try to get some speed rolling here. Um, next Pokemon, I really wanna go Arcanine, but Arcanine just gets ripped. He just gets ripped. Arcanine is just so good, but I cannot bring him. I just cannot bring him. Do I bring Luxra here? Maybe Protect turn one, set up a Tailwind and roll off from there. It'd be really good. I'm kinda digging that. I'm kinda digging that. Let's go Crobat, Luxray, bring in, uh, I might have to bring Arcanine just for the sheer fact there's a, he has a scissor, right? It just works wonders. It does work really well. I definitely want Rotom. Rotom works really well. And then final Pokemon, it's, I'm leaning towards Arcanine just for that scissor. Or I could bring a scissor of my own, which I think I'm going to do. I think that would be a little bit better if I bring scissor. I'm with it. I'm with it. It's just scissor always poses such a big threat. We have to bring in a Pokemon to counter. Because if not, scissor can just sweep teams left and right and just take them out. He's got the bullet punch first and priority. Alongside a technician and then usually he's life orb or metal coat. It's just doing a ridiculous amount of damage every single time. Every single time, it just rips through. So that's what I was thinking. Yeah, we need Arcanine to uh, counter up Scissor, but maybe we can go Scissor versus Scissor and go from there. I'm digging it. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. But let's see who this person leads. Let's see who this person leads. Scissor and Latias. Latias, okay. I'm, I'm, I mean, that's cool. I'm cool with that. Um, I can protect my Luxray and set up Guts if I really want to. Could Volt switch out, but I think I'm just going to set up a, a Tailwind and protect him, right? Yeah. Yeah, one protect. Let's do it. Let's trigger our guts. Let's get rolling from there. Hopefully, at least one of his Pokemon are going after my Luxray, just so we can block a shot and kind of guarantee ourselves getting off this Tailwind, and we can kind of roll out from there. Because if he doubles down into... Ooh, a Psychic could do me dirty. I just realized that. A Psychic could do me dirty. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. I just realized that. A Psychic from a Latias can do me real dirty. I'm terrified of. We're going for this Tailwind. If I can get this up... I really like. I really like to see. Make a move, dude. This guy's taking a while. We're gonna protect our lovely little Luxray. I'm gonna trigger guts. Can you guys go after him? He's gonna go for. Okay, he goes for a tailwind. We're gonna go for a tailwind as well. Hopefully, scissor comes our way. Does hit my Luxray, right? 
I'm hoping. But that's crazy. Oh, Crobat outspeeds Scissor in the tail. It's lovely. He goes for a U-turn and we do block. Beautiful. 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 So now this thing could go for Psychic. We do trigger our That's And, uh... What do I do here? I'm kind of tempted to swap just in case the Psychic comes in here. I am real tempted to swap. I am super, super tempted to swap. I have Crobat in the back end. Yeah, I'm gonna swap into I swap into Skizzy. Do I allow Rotom to actually use? Just have Luxury start chipping around. I don't with that. I don't with Rotom coming. In. I'm gonna swap into Rotom and I'm just gonna go for a wild charge straight into. It. It's gonna be my play. It's gonna be my play all day, all day long. We're gonna go straight into a wild charge. We're gonna bring out our lovely little Rotom. I wonder what he's gonna do. He's gonna hard swap Scissor and go into who? Go into Kingdra. Go into Kingdra or something. Something that I can dump in. What time with So good, good call by him. He's gonna set up. Oh, what? I love to see. I love it. We go swap for swap. I'm kind of cool with that. Watch how it's gonna fly through. It's not gonna do too much damage. It's gonna be able to soak. I might full switch out or I might just start dropping facades. I could start dropping facades. Facades ain't too shabby. Nice lovely coverage move here. Kind of with this. I just pump into you. Facade or I can volt switch. I'm gonna just volt switch it. Volt switch out. It's a nice, lovely volt switch out. We're gonna set up a light screen. I'm cool with that. So we're gonna volt switch. If I can get off this hydro pump, it should be able to take out this Rotom. We're gonna be sitting in a good spot. And he's gonna volt switch as well. Okay, never mind. Ouch, yo, that's a big old damage. That's a big old damage. That is some big old damage. And I wonder who he's gonna fly into here. He's gonna show his fourth and final mon. I wonder who he's rocking with. Is it gonna be Kingdra? Nice playing some good swaps. I'll give it to him all day. I'll give it to him all day. Let's see, but this get this will will allow us to freely go in the scissor without that fire threat on the field, which is good. Wonder who he's going for. Wonder who he's going into. Who is going to eat up this Hydro Pump? I kind of want him to show his fourth and final Pokemon just so we know the squad, but this guy's playing really good well right now. Swapping perfectly, dropping some good screens. This is one of the best BDSP opponents I've played up against. Hands down. I'm just hoping we can get a close match, you know? Bring guys some good content. Let's see what he does. Make a move, my guy! Not that hard. Not that hard. Kingdra comes out here. Good plays. I just promise he's gonna come out here. He's gonna be able to soak that all day. Gonna have four times weakness. Or he resisted four times. Volt switch can come out here and we're swapping. Guys are cooking. Guys are cooking. Okay, so we swap and yeah, do I freely just go into the scissor? Scissors are play. I got with scissor. We could go for the X scissor over the Latias. That could be big for us. And then just drop a Thunderbolt. I'm leaning towards it. I'm definitely leaning towards it. E bolt over into you. And yeah, X scissors got X scissors got to come out here. Maybe I should have just like you know Swords Dance here. Swords Dance could have been the play. It definitely could have been the play. But our opponent's just like he's analyzing each turn really well here. You go for Dragon Pulse. Can you eat that? You should be able to eat that, Rotom. Huh? Yes, sir, Rotom. All day, Rotom. Thunderbolts can come out. Give me a para. Give me paralyze here. Give me paralyze. Help me out. No, no paralyze. This thing's just gonna go for a dragon. Ooh. Ooh. Me no likey. Me no likey. Dragon Ants comes out here. He's plus one on physical attack now, but and speed. But is this like special attacking? Or is it physical? X Scissor comes through here. We don't even pick up the KO though. What just doing us so dirty? So dirty. So dirty. Tailwind Peter's out on each side. He's probably going to try to set up another one. In this case, you know, I'm just going to Thunderbolt and... Go ahead, X Scissor again. Let him set up a Tailwind. He can have speed. Yo, look at my Scissor. My Scissor just gave him the point, Joe. He's like, you're, you're done. You're done, yo. We coming after you. <laughs> yo, please show it again, yo. Scissor cracks you up. Do it again, Scissor. Point at him. Point at him and let him know. There it is, yeah. Give him the claw. He's like, yeah. You're done, dude. <laughs> I love it. I love it, but yo, dude, these reflects are definitely doing a sturdy. Definitely doing a sturdy. He's gonna end up withdrawing Latias. Okay. Go back into Rotom Heat. That's fine. Rotom Heat. Oh no, go into a scissor of his own. Fine with that. Fine with that. Scissor comes out here, and this thing's gonna go for a one. Take out my Rotom. Thank you. Takes out my Rotom. We keep our scissor on the field. Our lovely little scissor is still out on the field. We love to see it, and this thing is going to take some life orb damage. And we're just gonna go straight into X's. We'll chipping up some damage. Love to see it. Okay. That's my call here now. 
What's my call here? We could go in the crowbat. That is looking mighty fine. I go in the luxury and protect. I think I'm gonna go in the luxury and protect here. And the reason I say that is because luxury poses such a big threat with the guts. I think he's gonna target him down. I think he's gonna be sitting there like, "Hey yo, I gotta get rid of this." So I'm gonna protect, and I'm just gonna go straight into an extra, and I gotta get rid of this king. This king's just gonna be doing me dirty all day. This king's just gonna be doing me dirty all day. But yeah, we're gonna protect the luxury. We're gonna try to get off some big blocks here. What a! I love a good battle like this. I love a good battle like this. But yeah, our opponent, we're, we're, like their screen's definitely doing sturdy. Hopefully, he wasn't like late, but he probably is. Probably is likely. Which is bad. Which is bad news for us. Real bad news for us. Because those reflex and light screens are just so, so good. They make all your Pokemon just absolutely eat up shots. Like, we X Scissor on Latias and it soaked it up for my Life Orb Scissor. That stab damage, too. Some big old damage. That guy was just like, hey, yo, I'm going to soak this up with this, with this light screen now. Or this reflect. Like, Come on, man. Get on my face. We're going to protect our Luxray. We're looking for a nice little uh, couple blocks here. Let's see how this one plays out here. Gonna go for a waterfall. I kind of saw that coming this way. And Scissor all oh, eats. We love it. And Scissor, can you go after Luxray, please? My Scissor goes first. Can we KO this? Let's go. That's big time KO. We're gonna go down Life Orb damage, and and Scissor is. It, it don't matter. Scissor's gonna have to go after my. Luxray. So we get off a nice little block here. Um. Okay. I mean, I don't mind that turn. I don't mind it. You pick up a KO here. Thief's gonna come out. She's trying to thief. See, I kind of wanted the thief. Oh, she was trying to thief my uh. My scissor. What dare you? I don't need my item anymore. Alright, we can go on the crow back here and Latias is just do me dirty. Latias is just do me dirty here. Real dirty. Crowbat's gonna come out here. Uh What do we go for? We have to go for a facade, right? Or not facade, we have to go for a wild charge. We have to go into a wild charge here and uh I guess just cross poison on this slot and try to take you out. We have no protects on our on our crowbat. And we're hoping he's going to waste out a turn with a Protect here. If that's the case, we can get off some decent damage around here. Should be able to take out Latias. He can have speed a little bit. And I know my Crobat still outspeeds this. Uh, this Scissor, even in Tailwind, which is good to know. Because we, we figured that out earlier on into the match. Well, let's see what this guy does. Like I said, yo, this guy's analyzing the battle and making some awesome plays. You know, for Tailwind, no. He goes straight for a Bull Punch. We're soaked that up. And what's he going to go to from here? Dragon Punch. You eat that? You should be able to do it. Figgy Berry should be able to poke you. Figgy Berry. Figgy Berry. Great turn for us. Great turn for us. Figgy Berry is going to allow us to actually eat up, I think, another Bull Punch. That's going to be cutting it close. It's going to be cutting it close. But Cross Poison Flying should be gone here. Thank you very much. What you mean? Yo, what? Reflect doing a starting fight. Yo, Lux right. Coming in hot with a big old crit. That's a huge KO. But Recoil Damage is going to do me real dirty. Recoil Damage chips through. He has Rotom Heat in the back end. There's no bueno. No bueno. And how do we play this one? We're not the facade into that deal. That's a huge crit. Can you, like, screens, like, leave? I'm sick of the screens. I'm sick of the screens. But we're going to have to go into a cross poison here because I know Latias can't take out my uh, Crobat, and I know Crobat should be able to outspeed. This should be a good turn for us, yo. It's coming down to It's coming down to the wire, but yo, screens is doing this guy good. The screens are just nasty. He's just soaking up shots left and right. That's one place. He's gonna set up a tailwind. I mean, I'm kind of cool with that. Thunderbolt's probably gonna fly out from this Rotom. He's gonna bolt switch. Oh, that's kind of that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. The tailwind play was great. Can facade KO? Can facade KO? I'm, I'm curious. Oh my God, dude! The screens are doing me so dirty. Both of these guys should be dead. Both of these guys should be dead. <laughs> Let me take out. We got to take out Rotom. Rotom's obviously a bigger threat. But yeah, we definitely lose this one. Dragon Pulse comes through here. He's going to overheat a Thunderbolt. We're probably overheat here. He's going to win this battle. We died to a burn anyway. Bolt Switch. There it is. Dude, the screens. The screens, though. What a battle. What a battle. Came down to the wire. We lost to a bunch of screens. And uh, this guy's able to soak up shots and win a battle. Hopping into our third and final battle for today's video. Let's grab ourselves a win right here. Going up against a really cool team. He's got Milk Tank, Walreen, uh, I forget how to pronounce it. Elamize? 
something like that. Gyarados, Rhydon, instead of Rhyperior, and Ampharos. And Ampharos. Okay, so like I said, really cool team. Kind of scared of that Milk Tank. Milk Tank's looking real scary. Looking real scary. Um, how should I go with this one? How should Genius play it? I'm thinking Arcanine's just a great lead. Intimidates, Burns. We can do a lot with that. So yeah, we're going to go Arcanine here. Alongside with, uh, do we take Speed Control with Crobat? Could take Speed Control with Crobat. Hmm. Actually, we could bring Arcanine in the back. And I'm going to lead Luxray. I just like Luxray. Really cool Pokemon. I could definitely do a lot of work on a, on a lot of these Pokemon. I'm gonna go Luxray alongside with, uh... I could go Togekiss. But I could go a Pokemon like, uh, Scizor and just Sword Zance up and protect. Rotom. Oh, no, we're not gonna bring Rotom. We're not gonna bring Rotom. I said we go Crobat. We can take Tailwind Control. We're gonna bring Arcanine. And last but not least, we're bringing Skizzy, dude. We're getting after him. We're looking to grab ourselves a win here. I have to bring Scizor. If I'm looking to get a win, there's no need not to bring Scizor. Scizor's just way too good. He's way too powerful. So that's our team. That's our squad. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. And let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. In battle number three. But dude, those screens were just bulking me last battle. Just doing me so dirty. Hate it. He goes Ampharos. He goes in with, uh, what was this? Alumni? Al Aluminize? How, how do you pronounce it? I, I, okay, I can't, I can't read that, but okay. Sure. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, so from here, definitely want to protect you. I definitely... I definitely want to go into a Tailwind. I don't know if we can get this off. I could hard swap maybe into like a Pokemon like Nine or something or Scizor. But I say we say screw it and we go for this. Actually, I'm gonna go for a move. Probably gonna go for what I want to do. You know what? Yeah, we're protecting this guy. We're gonna try to get off this Tailwind. We're trying to get off this Tailwind. Let's do it. Tailwind coming out and about. We're going for it. We're going for it. We're gonna say, yo, this Ampharos don't got enough in the tank to take out my Crobat. He's gonna thunder wave me. Okay. He thunder waves me. Is he doubling into that slot? Or what's he going for? He's gonna thunder wave me. Dang, yeah, this Pokemon kind of annoying. I still outspeed, yo. Ampharos slow. Ampharos slow, dude. <laughs> this thing's so slow. He's, oh, no. Oh, no. Hot and guard out here. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, from here, you know, we're just gonna drop this. I'm just going to taunt you. I'm just going to taunt this thing just so, so we don't allow it to actually go. <laughs> God. God dang, it's going to be an annoying battle. Luxury, can you please get off this hit? I need you here. Love you. Wild Charge going to poke through here. Should be able to KO, right? Does not. That's some big damage, though. Huge damage. Huge damage. He's going to eat a berry, of course. Munch, 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 munch. And it's going to, you know... Go back up to a little bit. That's the citrus berry. That's cool. We're gonna taunt here just to try to not get the scene con guard again. We're just not dealing with it. You going for it again? Cool. So good turn for us. We are still confused. Uh, I am gonna go for a facade. And I might just double down into this. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go for a bolt switch. Bolt switch, and I'm going to uh, upgrade bird. Try to take this out. Let's see what he does from here. I'm gonna withdraw. I'm gonna withdraw you. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm trying to bolt switch out and get out of this battle. You go on the ride on. That's cool. Ride on park ground, or is he straight rock? Might be straight rock. Snap out of confusion. Cool. And he always lightning rod. Never mind. Never mind. He that was a great call by him. He lightning rods up. I can start facading, but it's just like I really I, I wanted to bolt switch out. I really want to bolt switch out. What is this? What is this? Uh, Amphros. Kind of scared of it. See what he goes for. Discharge. Ooh. Ooh. This thing just uh, this thing special attack. And we're done. The charge is going to come through here. Crobat's going to actually be able to eat. And we can start at least going for some facades. Maybe trying to get some crits. But Figgy Berry pokes in. I can just start cross poisoning onto uh, these guys. A little bit of cross poison action. This guy's making some good plays. He's making some real good plays. Real good plays with Ampharos. We're going to facade now. Try to get off damage on the U. We'll try. Hopefully maybe try to get a crit. And cross poison is probably your best bet. You know, maybe look for a burn here. Go from there. But yeah, well, a lot of his Pokemon right here are just absolutely countering me. Countering me hard. But I feel like Arcanine and Scissor can definitely do a lot of work and clutch a lot of, a lot of this battle up. Definitely can clutch a lot of this battle up. Let's see how he plays this. Because we're going to need this Arcanine to take out the Ampharos. This Cotton Guard is plus three. My physical attackers are going to be able to do nothing without a critical hit in me. But we'll take a deep breath and we'll think about this one. What's the guy going to do, though? We have the nice little speed. We're gonna facade. How much damage are we really gonna do? Give me crit. 
actually not bad damage. More than I thought it would be. Go for cross poison, not very effective. Can we get poison? That's what I'm aiming for. No poison. Hate scheme. This charge flying again. That should be a double kill, I think. It's definitely gonna take out my Crobat. Crobat's is definitely gone right here. But Luxray eats in and you know Ryan's just gonna slap up on Luxray. But this could actually show if he's a uh, physical or special. Where are you? You, you physical? Most, most Rhydons and Rhyperiors are physical attacking. Oh, this one's special. Wow. This one is special. That's pretty cool. This one is special. Well, he's got to go, too. We're, we're, we're up against two, two hard-hitting Pokemon here. Haunt shakes off. Tailwind's gone. We can go into Arcanine. We can go into Scissor. Scissor can just pull a punch, and I'm pretty sure it should be able to take out Rhydon. No problem. Then I should just be able to flamethrower down to that Ampharos slot, and we'll, we'll out the battle. For right? Sounds good in my head. Sounds good in my head. So this guy does something. Nate coming out here up against two special attackers. We hate this game. We hate this game. But yeah, Intimidate comes out. Definitely. Oh, bull punch. he's actually more HP than I thought he was. We still gotta go for it. We still gotta go for it. Do I double down into him? I could have protected my, my scissor. Could have been good. Bull punch gonna fly. Take this thing out, please. Let's go, scissor. Let's go, baby. Love me some scissor action. So good. It is such a good Pokemon. That's a huge, that's a big time KO for us. Blame Tower's gonna poke out before Ambrose even gets off a shot. And can we can we get some big old damage off on this thing? Oh. <laughs> we get a crit, but we put it on one. That's rough for us. That's rough. But my boys are able to eat. He's gonna go down the life orb damage. We love that. We love that. Because we know he has that little bug Pokemon who's low on HP. I can bullet punch that and take it out. And then it really comes out to his last Pokemon here. Bro, that thing really ate up on one. We got a nice little crit though. That's a huge time crit. He's gonna throw out his last two. Oh. Hmm. My play is definitely a bull puncher. Actually, doesn't that thing part fairy? Real tough. Nah, that should be able to take it out. So we're gonna bull punch you. I gotta go for the will of us here. We gotta burn this thing. We gotta burn this thing. Protection, you son of a biscuit. How dare you? How dare you? Can you outspeed Arcanine, please? And get off this burn before he even moves? We miss! And he dragon it. Nah, that's rough. Now nah, that's rough. We gotta go for the same move. That's rough, dude! What you mean? That's real rough. We missed that Will O Wisp there. That could have been a big time Will O Wisp. I don't know if he's gonna come out here. <sighs> that's GG's, right? That is GG's. That is whack. That is whack, but good protect on this thing. We're gonna be able to take you out here. As long as he doesn't take out, um, if he takes out my scissor, we still lose, right? I mean, we need him to miss here. We need him to miss. He goes for a waterfall. Who are you taking out? Scissor, probably. Yeah, he's like, I gotta get rid of the scissor. The scissor goes down. That's gonna be GG's, man. God dang, yo. We lose this battle and we grab ourselves a losing record for today's video. I don't care, yo. And we just had a rough last two battles. First battle was, was easy for us. We defeated some legendaries up against a newbie, but. The last two battles, dude, RNG just awful in this battle. Awful in this battle, and then the second battle reflects and screens. Definitely came in clutch for our opponent. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, all three battles with this team. We went one and two for today, which isn't too bad, but I feel like we played great in the second and third battle. We just went up against some good teams with some good opponents making some great plays. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.